hello my beautiful taurus welcome to my channel welcome back to my channel trying divine tarot i'm trying i'll be reading for you today please don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel I greatly appreciate that don't forget to hit that notification bell I'll let you know every time i upload a video <clears throat> all right baby dolls i don't want to take much away from your reading i had already put up a little video about what i've been going through i apologize i missed you guys so much um I'm still suffering through that um, viral bronchitis that's going around, so I might have to take a few little breaks and pause the video, okay? I have my inhalers ready on standby, okay? So <laughs> let's get right into this, Taurus. All right, how y'all been? Uh, okay. <laughs> Heavenly Father, Heavenly Angels, I need an overall energy for my beautiful Taurus. Okay, one more. Hey, hey, oh, okay, <laughs> all right, um, I'm feeling with this card, everything has a season and a reason, okay, this is the card of spirituality with this beautiful dragonfly here, okay, I think you went through a little ascension, <laughs> okay, I know I just did, <laughs> um, but I just feel like you're, you're really, um, at peace with yourself I'm feeling like a really peaceful calming energy with this card I feel like um, yeah you're overcoming with the second card here um, the second card out we have is Eagle okay and um, the Eagle overcomes many obstacles many challenges okay they're flying over the blockage or whatever tried to stop them. They're rising above it, all right? So this is really beautiful. Let's read the message. Dragonfly, have confidence during this time of great joy, renewal, and connection to spirit. Okay, that's beautiful. And we have the eagle. You will soar towards your destiny with greater clarity and strength. Hey, all right? Hearing what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. <laughs> All right, so let's get into this. We are going to channel a little bit with the Kipper, and then I'm probably going to clarify with the um, with the Tarot, okay? All right, let's get right into this. All right. I think um, with this spiritual, spiritual card, I feel like there was like an ascension, okay? And whatever you had to go through is making you better, faster, and stronger, all right? So like I said... There's a season and a reason for everything. All right. Yeah, you're rising above it. You're rising above it. Whatever this obstacle was. Okay. It was it was needed. You know, I know I'm going through this, you know, fighting off this viral bronchitis, but you have to take the good with the bad, okay? Look, it made me detox. I'm like <laughs> So, like, look at my skin. I don't have any foundation on. Like, I have this really beautiful glow to my skin. That's because I released all those toxins. Um, you know, my abs haven't had a workout like this in years with all the coughing, okay? I lost about, like, 10 pounds. But, hey, you got to take the good with the bad, all right? <laughs> all right, let's get into this. Why is Dragonfly and Eagle here for my beautiful Taurus? All right. Oh, boy. Four of Wands is here. Okay. You could be moving. You could be traveling. Okay. This is a new home, a firm foundation with somebody you love. Okay. But it is a four, so it's a little early, you know, as far as, because, um, you know, we go to 10. So um, I think this is maybe a new love connection or somebody that you been with and are taking it up to the next level okay maybe it's a spiritual connection okay you have with someone oh my god here's main male okay <laughs> so um there could be a uh, masculine in your life that is going to be somehow making their presence known I could be speaking for a masculine right now. Uh, the number one could represent a zodiac sign of Aries, but we'll see. 
Okay, I'm feeling kind of surprise energy with that too. All right. This is somebody you might know, Taurus, like somebody in your circle, okay? Ooh. All right, I'm feeling like this is like, I'm feeling past life connection with this guy, okay? This is somebody you knew from lifetimes ago, and you guys are coming together now, and if it hasn't manifested, it's on its way of manifesting, okay? I'm like within like a week or so, okay? So just chill. <laughs> All right. More for dragonfly and eagle, please. Okay. So we had despair, okay? And usually when you're going through it or having an ascension, okay, you, you, you kind of like are in this energy, okay? Um, <clears throat> and I'm really sorry that, you know, I try not to connect my energy so much to the readings, but I feel like it's here because of just what I've been through in the past like week and a half. Um, but like I said, you are rising above it. You're getting over it. Here's the little rainbow to let you know things are going to be okay. Things are being balanced out. And I feel like um, you're going to have yourself a little glow up, Taurus, okay? Um, like I said, this whatever this is didn't beat you, but it just made, in the long run, it's making you better, faster, and stronger, okay? And sometimes, I know with fixed signs... <laughs> Uh, sometimes this is the way it has to come in, okay? So, all right. More for Taurus. Taurus, I feel like this is like a secret crush as well, okay? With this masculine and this four of wands. I feel like, um, I'm just feeling like they want to express how, how beautiful they think that you are, okay? And, um. Maybe they wanted to do this, but they've been having a little trouble. And every time they try, something always gets in the way. Okay? So hang tight. Like I said, I feel like you're experiencing an ascension. You're you're having like a little glow up. And um, even your enemies are feeling a little inspired by you. Okay? So um, that's big. Okay? <laughs> that's big. All right. More for my beautiful Taurus. I feel like your money is looking good or your money's about to go up. If you're feeling like you were having any sort of financial turmoil, I feel like that's all going to be getting turned around. I just feel like 2024 just, you know, it's just going to be some really welcomed energy and it's going to be really positive. I think like the past five years have been really rough for everybody. We all like ascended, okay, in our own personal ways. I think whatever this whole COVID thing was really, really taught us a few really hardcore lessons, like who we are as people, um, what we want and what we don't want and what we are settling for. Okay. And I feel like as the years since COVID have, you know, come and pass, I think we grow we're just growing in our wisdom and we're just, um, I think at 2024, I think all our lessons, everything that we've dealt with within the five years of this is really, um, it's going to be smooth sailing from here. Okay. I'm really feeling that just, I think everybody's going to have their own little personal victories. Okay. All right. Let's get into the tarot. I do feel like this this guy has been concealing or that I mean it's energy it could be you know a female with masculine take it out it applies okay um I just feel like they've been concealing their emotions for my Taurus because every time they try either they chicken out or it's just never the right time okay but I just feel like it's coming it's coming for you Taurus okay and it's your love of your lifetimes I'm, I'm here in love of your lifetimes 
All right, more for my beautiful Taurus. Okay, we have the Eight of Cups. So I know I just said that about this energy. Okay, the last five years, um, or last few years have may have been rough, okay? And these cups have been filled and spilled. You know what you want, you know what you don't want, and you have like a, a real focus right now, a real direction. You know exactly where you're headed, and you're headed towards your ninth cup, your happiness, your wishes, okay? And you're really overcoming the obstacles and making things happen for yourself, all right? All right, so that's beautiful. Some more for my beautiful Taurus. If I know, okay, we're Taurus, so we're always in love or wanting our, you know, and like, if this has been something you've been really hoping, wishing and praying for that the person that you're seeing takes it to a next level, they're taking it to the next level. If you're hoping, wishing and praying that your divine counterpart finds you, they are finding you. Okay, there is a, look at this rainbow connection. Okay, it's these two cups are connected here. Okay, so this is ultimate joy, ultimate happiness with the person that you love. It's a, an, it's a, an over, it's like overly abundant with the fish here. Okay, so it's going to be very sturdy, very stable. And it might come with a home, okay? The four of wands represents a, a new home, a new structure. This is a brand new relationship possibly for some of us. Or like I said, this is like, Turning it up a notch with the person that you're with. Whoa. All right. I might go back into the kipper and see if that wealthy man, wealthy woman wants to jump out. All right. So we'll see. All right. We'll go back in there. We'll see. Okay. <laughs> Maybe this is him. Maybe this is her. Okay. Maybe they're not revealing that yet. Maybe they reveal that when they reveal their cup. Okay, so let's see. For my beautiful Taurus, here we are. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay. Five of Swords. Okay, and here's the Despair card. So maybe there was attempts that were made. Maybe people were CBing you, okay? Blocking you. Um... I know I just said something about your enemies, okay? I feel like your enemies might be even a little inspired by you right now. And um, I think that, like, your enemies are losing, like, their potency, okay? Because I feel like they can't, like, rationalize this Five of Swords energy anymore, okay? And I think... <laughs> I don't know. I just feel like maybe people that at once you considered your enemies that might be coming around and maybe trying to, I don't know, work things out. Okay. But this was, I'm feeling past energy or energy that's been blocking a glow up for you or getting in the way of your glow up or, but I feel like that's energy that's just you're overcoming, okay? And I feel it's because of your spiritual ascension, your connection with God, okay? It's undeniable. So, all right. I feel like you're on the next leg of your journey. I feel like next phase. I know, like I said, 2024 is right around the corner. And, uh, yeah, we're speaking some truth here with the Ace of Swords, okay? So if there was any harsh communication in the past, um, I feel like the Bird of Peace is here, okay? And I think that there's like a lot of healing taking place. And um, I think people are learning to be a little bit more soft and kind and not so... Um, 
eager to get into a conflict, okay? Because that just takes so much energy. And it also takes energy away from like what you're trying to accomplish, you know? Um, sometimes that energy will get in the way. I just feeling like once 2023 ends, that whatever you've been, I, I just feel like if there's negative energy, that ends too. 2024 is a brand new start. And I feel like it's going to be a, a glow up for everyone. Okay. And I'm not just saying that to do, you know, sunshine and rainbows. Okay. I really feel that in my heart. Okay. <clears throat> All right. More for my beautiful Taurus. All right. I feel like victory is yours, Taurus. Like I said, you're having a little glow up. Um, this is strength. I feel like you're showing uh, your leadership right now, your confidence. Uh, um, I believe that if there is anything, like I said, with that eagle here, something that you had to overcome, you're doing it with grace and it's showing, okay? And um, you might have had to take a little break in order to to heal yourself or to come out of whatever you were in, but it was destined, it was necessary. And like I said, it's making you better, faster and stronger. All right, let's see if our wealthy man comes out. What is, <laughs> excuse me, with Taurus and their finances, okay? Or their love life, let's see, Taurus. All right, we have a message coming in. I know I said earlier that is somebody that wants to express something, whether it, whatever this little envelope holds in it, okay, it's life changing. It could be changing it'd be your finances. It could be changing your love life, but it's something, here's the seven, okay? So seven is the number of heaven. So this is whatever's in this envelope is life changing, meant to happen. And I feel like it's a very positive. Okay, so this is the other. <laughs> All right, I'm going to have an asthma attack. Oh my God. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Oh my God, the other card that came with it. Girls, boys, the wealthy man, the wealthy woman, they showed. Oh my God, <laughs> excuse me, I'm gonna have an asthma attack. Oh my God, what did I say? I know, my loves, I said this might be the wealthy man. He just hasn't revealed it. He will be revealing it when he presents you with this cup. All right, my loves, get ready. 2024 is gonna be out of this world. All right, I'm gonna leave it there. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. I greatly appreciate that. Um, if you enjoy my readings and you wanna show your girl some love, I will have a link in the description box of where you can donate to my channel. All right, till next time, baby dolls. This is a beautiful reading. Ciao.